Watching Wild West films and playing Cowboys and Indians was another part of my childhood. And then the, uh, the wonderful film Dances with Wolves uh, came along and, and really changed everything for me. But long before uh, the toy in the McDonald's Happy Meal, Kellogg's encouraged children to eat a healthy breakfast, cornflakes and other cereals. They included a toy inside the box. I remember spaceships and cartoon figures, but one of the nicest sets of these are the busts of Native American chiefs which came out in 1974. And here is the set. All six. These came in two parts in a little plastic bag and you, you had to hunt through your breakfast cereal, bite off your brothers and sisters to get to the toy first, and then you'd have a whole packet of cornflakes to eat. Obviously my family, uh, we must have eaten a lot of cornflakes because there's to get the whole set. They are really wonderfully sculpted figures that really give you a great capture of the features of these Native American chiefs. So this one is Sitting Bull. He was a Lakota Sioux leader, who was the man who defeated the uh, 7th Cavalry led by General Custer at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. His eventual surrender to US forces, he, uh, he worked as a performer with Buffalo Bill in his Wild West show. Sadly, um, he was killed by an Indian agency police while being arrested for being allegedly being part of the ghost dance movement. The next uh, Native American chief is, is also quite well known to us, Geronimo. And uh, he was an Apache leader and led a lot of rebellions. Uh, Geronimo was a nickname given to him by the Mexicans and uh, it was uh, Mexican soldiers that actually murdered his family. The next chief has another very recognizable name, Pontiac. He was an Odawa leader and fought against the British in the Great Lakes region. And eventually boundaries were drawn between the settlers and the Indian lands. Along to Cochise. His name means the strength of an oak. He was an Apache war leader and fought against Mexicans and Americans. And then there's the rather spectacular Red Cloud. He was a Lakota Sioux leader and he led successful battles against the US Army. But he visited Washington and he, he this really brought it home, the, the power of the, uh, the white settlers. He realized he could never win the war and he ended his days on a, on a reservation. And the last one is Tecumseh. Again, a very distinctive looking man. He was a Shawnee chief named after a shooting star. He was actually an ally of the British in the 1812 war, defending Canadian territory. So luckily I have all six. And it's a really nice set to have and a nice memory of her childhood.
like I said, our family did eat a lot of cornflakes. So, just decided, I got four spare ones, and I just thought I'd paint them up because it really brings home how how brilliant the sculpting was on these figures. So there's Geronimo. Really brings out all the detail that's there. And Pontiac. Cochise. And then Red Cloud. Like I said, I didn't have an extra to come see. And unfortunately, not an extra sitting bull who would be really lovely to paint. But with an eye on the future with collectibles, uh, I think collectors prefer them unpainted. So I just decided to devalue four. Anyway, I hope you, some of you might remember these little figures and uh, bring back some memories of your breakfasts. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Thank you if you've uh, subscribed to my, my channel. And I just hope you've enjoyed seeing the, uh, these Native American figures. Thank you for watching.